Well, it's a tradition and the law enforcement torch run took place this morning with nearly 12 different agencies as part of the event, as well as Special Olympic athletes and our very own Tamer Knight joins us with all the details. For more than 25 years, Shreveport Police and other surrounding agencies have participated in the Law Enforcement Torch Run. This year was no different with nearly 12 agencies participating. Police officers from all over Northwest Louisiana, I think we have 12 agencies that are participating this morning, as well as Special Olympic athletes to run the torch uh, across Bossier and Shreveport um, en route to the state summer games, which are this weekend. Officials say the Special Olympic athletes look up to law enforcement and the run is a great way to show their support. It gives us a wonderful opportunity to come together, uh, you know, on a positive note, uh, to be a blessing to someone. And I can't think any better way to do it than through Special Olympics, what you've seen today. This year's run was dedicated to Lieutenant Amanda Fournier, who suddenly passed away just this year. This year we're dedicating our torch runs from across the state of Louisiana to Lieutenant Amanda Fournier, who um, died suddenly this year. She was actually the state director for, and she represented the Louisiana State Police. So. Special Olympics coach Danny Johnson says it means the world to have the support of local law enforcement. Great. This is great, uh, especially with our law enforcement. Uh, they've been supporting us, not just for this event. We have other uh, things going on and law enforcement, our, our first responders are there uh, and very supportive. <laughs> As the pack made its way through Northwest Louisiana, the Flame of Hope torch symbolizes inclusion for the Special Olympics athletes and individuals with intellectual disabilities. In Shreveport, Tamer Knight, KSLA News 12.